Hey there, friends. This is Mrs. Lawson again, and this is Llama Phones, again by Yannick Coat. He's both the author and illustrator, and it is also by Abram's book. And here we have our llamas. We have C-S-E-E -E with his big glasses where you can see and look at everything, and then C-S-E-A, like the ocean. We have Rose, R-O-S-E, like the flower. And then we have rows, bumpy lines, and definite rows that are parallel to each other, R-O-W-S. We've got pale, meaning very light or very faint. He's a very pale green. And then we have P-A-I-L, P-A-I-L pale, where he has a big pink pale right on top of his head. We've got pear. <laughs> Our llama is definitely shaped like a pear. And here we have a pair of llamas, P-A-I-R, instead of P-E-A-R. Here is Scent, S-E-N-T. He has been sent all around the world. He's stamped and packaged and labeled. And on the other side, you can kind of see that shiny llama coin. He, that is a cent, C-E-N-T, as in one one-hundredth of a dollar. Unfortunately, these little hands are missing, but it had a clock and he has to wait for his train or wait for his airplane at the terminal. On the other side, we have wait at W-E-I-G-H-T, where he has a lot of weight, meaning mass. Here we have stair. He's going to climb up, and I don't know if you can see those, but these little faint stairs going up. And here he is staring right at you, S-T-A-R-E. Here we have piece, oh my goodness, it's actually three pieces, but there is a piece of a llama, and here is P-E-A-C-E, -E, as in world peace. And we have a little globe and the dove symbols that typically go with that. Here's fairy, F-E-A-R-Y, again, some good texture in here that's not gonna come across, but as in like fairy godmother or fairy godfather, and here's an F-E-R-R-Y, a fairy that could take people and boats, and, or people and cars and uh, packages across water. Here we have blue. Yes, you know, I blew the dandelion, B-L-E-W, and there's blue the color. Then we go to like that. Then we go to print or prints. P-R-I-N-T-S, his footprints, versus Prince, P-R-I-N-C-E, the son of the king and the queen. Here is a peak. He's way up at the top of the mountain peak. P-E-A-K. And here, if we look, P-E-E-K, if we peek underneath the cloth, you can see there's a little tiny llama down there under his llama blanket. Here I have flowers, like sunflowers, and over here, and again, really cool texture, a bag of flour where I can bake and make bread and cookies and pancakes and all sorts of yummy stuff. Over here we have hair, H-A-I-R, quite long, and over here, hair like a rabbit, H-A-R-E, and he's even got his little buddy nose. Here he has a T. Oh, and look who shows up on that. Got our little hip opposite buddy. And here he is drinking tea, T-E-A. Missed, M-I-S-S-E-D. Oh, he missed the shot. Over here is M-I-S-T, he's lost in the foggy mist. And then our very last one, night, K-N-I-G-H-T, versus night, where it is nighttime. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day kind of exploring and playing around with language as well.